My friends, uh, the president of uh, Cyprus, Nikos uh, Anastasiadis, and uh, the Prime Minister of Greece, Alexis uh, Tsipras, uh, welcome to Beersheba. Uh, it's, uh, it's a wonderful opportunity, not only to do business, but also to strengthen our friendship that goes from strength to strength. Uh, you've just visited the cyber capital of Israel. I think you had the opportunity to see firsthand the kind of things that are springing from the desert. I want you to know that 101 years ago, uh, Beersheba was um, a Turkish-controlled town, <laughs> seven wells, a few palm trees, a lot of camels, and you can see the enormous difference. Uh, people, especially young people here, are seizing the future. It's now a quarter of a million uh, population, but it will be very soon half a million. And it is uh, changing not only the Negev, our southern, uh, the southern part of Israel, but also Israel, and in many ways, the world, with the things, the innovation that you saw today and that we are ready to share with you. This is uh, the fifth summit between our three countries. We've been uh, meeting regularly since our first summit in 2016. And uh, as I said, our personal friendship goes stronger as our agreements grow longer and longer <laughs> and detailed. Um, and these bonds are not merely based on shared interests uh, and geographic proximity. They're based on shared values in a very volatile region, very violent region. We share uh, deep histories and rich culture. We're all vibrant democracies. We all value pluralism, freedom, peace, and we're all threatened by the forces of terror and religious radicalism. We all recognize there's much to be gained from working together. And indeed, that's exactly what we do. We cooperate in so many fields now, in security and energy and the environment and health and technology and tourism and emergency services. Uh, our planes uh, assist you and your planes have assisted us. Greek uh, pilot helped to uh, uh, put out the fire that we had in, uh, in Haifa, and we respond accordingly. So we are friends uh, indeed, not only in word, uh, in many deeds. And I think our alliance is an anchor of stability and prosperity in the Eastern Mediterranean. Uh, but we have today a special guest with us. And the presence of uh, our dear friend, the Ambassador of the United States to Israel, David Friedman, at our summit today, reflects the U.S. support for our partnership, for our projects, and for, the, for our values, which the U.S. shares. And I think uh, Ambassador Friedman will have more to say about this. Now, one of these projects is the East Med pipeline. We discussed it in great detail this morning. Uh, we, following our last summit in Cyprus in May 2018, we reached an agreement to lay the world's longest underwater pipeline for the export of gas from uh, the Eastern Mediterranean to Europe. This is a, a project that uh, our Minister of Energy, Yuva Steinitz, has spearheaded with the cooperation of his colleagues in Cyprus and Greece, and Italy as well. We want to connect them. We're ready to sign an agreement. Uh, we think that this will open up new energy opportunities uh, for Europe, uh, it's important for the security of Europe, it's important for our respective economies, it's important also for this anchoring of additional regional cooperation. Uh, today we reaffirmed our commitment for the East Med pipeline, discussed important aspects of the project, uh, and uh, we are going to uh, sign formally, officially, this agreement uh, in uh, a few months, how shall I say this, next year in Greece. But next year begins very soon, in a few days. And as we speak to uh, build prosperity, a pipeline for prosperity, uh, there are forces in our region that seek to build tunnels for terror. And a few weeks ago, Israel launched a campaign to expose and neutralize cross-border terror tunnels on our southern border, or rather on our northern border with Lebanon. Uh, these tunnels were built by Hezbollah, 
with direct support and funding from Iran. This is the Iranian web of aggression in the Middle East, which also terrorizes Europe and the entire world. Israel uh, continues its operation against the Hamas terror tunnels uh, and will do so until its completion. As we speak, we're employing means to neutralize these tunnels and will continue to act in Syria to prevent Iran's effort to militarily entrench itself against us. We're not going to reduce our efforts, we're going to increase our efforts. Maybe I'll say that in Hebrew for those who don't understand English. Is that all right? Okay. אנחנו ממשיכים במאמצים שלנו לנטרל את מנהרות הטרור. בשעה הזו אנחנו מפעילים אמצעים מיוחדים כדי להביא לנטרול מיוחד של המנהרות הללו. אנחנו נמשיך לפעול בצורה תקיפה מאוד נגד הניסיונות של איראן להתבסס בסוריה. בשתי הזירות הללו איננו מתכוונים להפחית את המאמצים שלנו, אנחנו נעצים אותם. ואני יודע שאנחנו עושים זאת בתמיכה ובגיבוי מלא של ארצות הברית. We who share common values and common civilization must stand together, because together we're stronger, and the great partnership between Israel, Greece, and Cyprus shows how meaningful cooperation can unlock endless opportunity. Uh, we discussed this today in a number of fields, but I think cyber excited everyone's imagination and certainly excites ours. Uh, we, uh, we have uh, a, a unique partnership program, internship program, for young entrepreneurs from uh, Greece and Cyprus to um, intern at Israeli high-tech companies. And I have to see many more young, and not so young, entrepreneurs from both of uh, your countries in Israel in the coming years. Uh, I look forward to continuing these uh, summits and I look forward to our continued friendship. Thank you for coming here, and we shall meet, I'll be specific, next year in Knossos. Thank you. Toda Raba. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.